That was internationally acclaimed, proudly South African singer and songwriter Bongezi Uwe Mabandla. This artist is known for his meticulous blend of acoustic, folk and techno sounds. He's releasing his third album, Limini, on the 27th of March. And he's planning to take his music to audiences all around the world on an extensive tour. A very good morning to you. Thank you for joining us on Weekend Dawn. Yeah, thanks for having me. You've yeah. got a golden voice, my brother. Uh, I love it. How did you get into music? I got into music uh, just purely because uh, I, uh, I used to love it. I used to do it as a hobby. I was studying drama, actually, at AFTA. Wow. But I used to find myself uh, on my off periods and on weekends, like, really into music until I realized this is something that I love so much more than, than just some, than a hobby. Okay. Yeah. Now, Bongeziwe, you are... You could basically say you're a South African export because you do a lot of gigs yeah. outside of the country. Yeah. What's been your favorite country um, where you performed? Uh, I'm going to say France. I okay. think, yeah, uh, most people that listen to my music are in France. All right. And, uh, and it's really nice, you know, the kind of reception that I, I get when I'm that side. It's just really beautiful that, you know, you can make music from Johannesburg. And, you know, it can travel to the world so fast, yeah. Okay, tell us about your new album. It's releasing yes. next month. Yes, What can month. we expect in the album? It's, uh, yeah, it's releasing next month on the 27th. It's called Imini, e e which, me, which okay. means days. Yeah, it's really an album about love. And uh, the first song is about the beginning of the relationship. And we go through the whole relationship until the end. So it's just about exploring love and understanding the different sides of love, that love can be beautiful, but it can also be very ugly and very mm -hmm. painful. So it's just that way of looking at, at relationships, I guess. And uh, did you write it based on personal experience? or? Uh, yeah, all my albums are based on, uh, on personal experience. But also, I think why I decided to write about this. I found that a lot of my friends, um, we're always speaking about finding the one, not finding the one, being brokenhearted. I think the subject of love is a very, is a, it's a fascination in the mm. human mind, yeah. Mm. 
Okay. Now tell me about this tour. So you'll be doing the album and then you're going on an extensive tour. Yes. So does this include gigging in South Africa? Yes, South okay. Africa. I'm playing in South Africa. We're playing, I think, two gigs here in Johannesburg. We have a, a show, that, some shows that we're doing in Cape Town. But uh, obviously I'm also playing in many other countries, Germany, Denmark for the first time, Italy for the first time, obviously France and also Holland. So yeah, I'm glad that I get to play home. As well. So African tour and then European yeah, tour and then yeah. where else afterwards? Uh, it's most it's just Europe and Africa, but uh, yeah, mostly Europe and Africa. Wow, that's fantastic. Now, again, I have to just talk about your musical inspirations. Yes. Um, Joseph Shabalala of Lady Smith Black Mambazo. Yes, yeah. um, who else are you inspired by, and what is it about their sort of music that cap that captivated you? Yeah, I think the biggest musician that, uh, that South African musician that, oh, let me say two. There's a lot of musicians. It's, it's definitely Tandi Swamazwai. She's, okay. yeah, I, I've always loved her music and I've always like had a really serious connection with her voice. Yeah. And just all the art, even when she was with Bongo Muffin, I used to just like, she, yeah, she used to be, she is my idol. And obviously Jabu Kanyile mm -hmm. and even Busim Shlomo. Ah, those are the music that I really like fell in love in a deep way. Okay, now your genre of music, um, I like that it's a bit of a mixture. Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. can't just yeah. box you into sure. like one category. Yeah. Um, so what other genres are you looking at playing around in? And, and, and when I say that, I'm also talking about your, your, your musical um, inspirations when it comes yeah. to DJs as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, DJs, I'm, I'm not a, I don't listen to a lot of DJs, but I do listen to a lot of hip hop. I love okay. hip hop. Uh, but I love soul, so I try and mix these styles. I love Maskandi, I love uh, traditional Tosa music. It's a lot. I love R&B, so okay. it's definitely that. And uh, tomorrow I'm playing at this festival called Umi, and yeah, we're gonna try and bring those elements as well, bringing all the different influences into. Uh, one show. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. You, you're playing at Umi. You make yes. it. You make it like you're playing it down. This is part of the Feel Good series. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. So how did you get into playing at Umi? That's a big deal. Is, uh, yes. Uh, I'm not sure how it ended up, but they did invite <laughs> me, and I am playing there. Um, and it's gonna be my first show. I didn't play any shows in Joburg the whole of last year. Okay. So do, a lot of people haven't seen me play in Joburg. I am gonna be playing. Um, how can I put it, a more intimate set. Okay. And uh, it's really mostly to really introduce people to the theme of my new album and to, I think with intimate sets, you're able to explain more and give the songs a touch that is not really there in the CD. So I'm really looking forward. Okay, Bongeziwe, let me just play a music video here now. Um, we're joined by Bongeziwe. He is a musician who sings a, a plethora of, of, of genres of music. <laughs> Let's just dip into one of mu your music videos here so people can get an idea yeah, yeah. Feel of what you're about. So this is in fact one of my favorite songs, um, yeah, you. because my niece introduced me yeah, to the song. Yeah. But that's the thing with your music, it's, it's very crossover. My niece is not even two years old, yeah. and, 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 and she feels your music. Yeah. What is it about your music that sort of crosses over to any racial, it, it crosses over any racial stereotypes? Yeah, and I never really intended that. I think I, I try and make music that's, that's real and that's, that's from the heart. A lot of people say that I wear my heart on my sleeve, uh -huh. and I think that kind of comes across in the music as well. I think uh, I share a lot of myself in my albums and in my lyrics, and um, yeah, and it's always music that comes from a place of honesty. Now, let's talk about the Samas. Yes. Uh, best newcomer. Yes. Uh, no, uh, that was a nominee. Uh, uh, it's a, a nomination. You got nominee. recognized. A nomination. What does that mean for you personally? Yeah, I mean, the first time for my album, I was nominated two times, Best Newcomer and Best Adult Contemporary. Mm. And then I won, for my previous album, I won the summer for Best Alternative Album. So, yeah, uh, I was really happy wow. to finally, I was, ever since I was young and I knew what the summers was. There we go. I used to dream, like, oh, one day I'm, I love to win a summer. It's really important to get recognition from home and to feel um, celebrated and loved 
um, here in South Africa. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. Now I need details for tomorrow's gig. Today's right. gig. Today's gig. Sorry. Today. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what are the details? What time is it taking place? Where can I get a ticket? Etc. Etc. Yes. Give me all of it. Uh, I'm playing at half past six. Okay. Uh, I play Victoria Yards, but I think there's different events happening around uh, the festival. But I think the best way to check it out is to check it out online. I think you can. There's a ticket. Uh, link that you can purchase tickets on. Okay, cool. And your social media platforms? Yes. Uh, I'm on Instagram, I'm, I'm at Bongaziwe Mabandla. And on Twitter, I'm at Bongaziwe. Okay. Yeah. Bongaziwe, thank you so much, man. Thank we you really so much. appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. We wish you all the best of luck. Uh, are you going to give us another performance I'm before gonna, you leave? I'm, yes, I have to. Yes. Okay.